Yo what is going on people and welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be teaching you how to use L3DT. This will only be the basics as I'm not a pro in L3DT but I do know obviously how to get a map in game, how to edit a map, all that sort of stuff. I will be linking the website in the description and you can get L3DT Pro. Now with L3DT Pro you got a lot of other tools and you can make high resolution pictures and you can also get better satellite images as you may have seen in the past I'll put one on screen now you get like rubbish sort of quality pictures but these ones you can actually get C let's say and they do look really really nice you can also get an L3DT Pro free trial which I think lasts for a month or maybe a week it's one of the two but if you do want to start making a map and you not very good at Photoshop or anything like that you can use that but personally I've never actually used L3DT Pro well I have once but I never like took the satellite image it was just basically to see what the satellite would have looked like and stuff just messing around with it but yeah I'm gonna get in today I'm gonna be showing you how to create a blank terrain which means you can do whatever you want and I'm gonna be showing you how to use the tools and different types of exports you can actually do for so you can put it in armor or DayZ. so I hope you enjoy the video leave a like leave a subscription and if you do need any help leave a comment down below when you first open L3DT you're gonna get this so what you want to do is you want to go file new project and you want to click on blank designable map the designable map recommenders this is one that we've done in my other tutorials before where you've got the bars and you can move them up and down and it auto generates but with a blank one it's just all blank so you can start whatever you want so if you want a really well it's not really big but if you want a big map in daisy and say around about 25 kilometers you're better off picking at 20 by 48 if you want a map which is around 14 kilometers you're better off picking this and if you want a map which is around five kilometers or four you better off picking five by 12 but I'm gonna go with my usual 10 by 24 I'm gonna click next okay now that's all that you have to do on this now what I normally do is you can draw a picture design it on here but I don't like doing that I like doing stuff in 3D so what you want to do is you want to right click operations height field and you can generate a new map so this will be a blank map there'll be nothing on here as you can see but what I normally do is I normally import a picture let's say if I wanted to import a picture of Malta for example I would import that then I can generate it and then it will actually create me the structure the shape of that island so if I got operations height field edit in 3d it's gonna load up but it's all gonna be water as you can see here so this is water it's not deep water it's like just if you was in Daisy there'd be water above the ground but only by a bit so I like doing this the reason why is because you've got a full field of what you want to do so normally what I do to get a shape is I go to raise to normally I put it around about 10 because I feel like 10 is a good number so then you right click on here so what you do is you can scroll wheel and you can make it larger now I won't recommend maybe doing it a very big because it's just gonna like probably like freeze or something but if you do end up dragging it across here and it goes in there sometimes it'll like stutter and it won't work as well so you just got to be careful so let's say I want this shape I'm just gonna draw a shape you know we're gonna have a little reservoir in the middle that's my shape done so if I want to smooth the edges around all what I need to do is go to smooth um, which is here scroll wheel again and and just hold it basically and as you can see it's like faded off the wet where it's blue that's obviously where the water is and where it's green this will all be the land the green stuff and yeah you just basically go around like this now if you want a point so let's say you want a mountain what you do is you hold it and when you move your mouse up and down as you can see you get the deeper you go that's the darker the blue it gets if you go up you can do this and it's going to create a point but obviously that's going to be very 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 steep in daisy so maybe you want it like that maybe you want to put another one here like this and you want to do something like that maybe you want to smooth them on after so you go to smooth scroll wheel make it bigger and then you can just do that 
You can also got you've also got bulldoze where you hold, and if you drag, then it will make that flat as well. Also, I could do that over here, and as you see, that's bulldoze that and made it all flat. It's just basically what a bulldozer does. Now, lower two is basically the same as raise two, but if I click raise two on here, it won't go up. But if I click lower two now, it should go down but because it's 10 and this is 10 it's only telling it to go down by 10 so say if I want it to go underwater I press the minus button and I press minus 10 and I click back on here and as you can see it's gone down it's deeper than this because this is just all flat so the minus 10 minus 10 is a good thing that you want to do and then you want to go around so what I do when I'm making maps I create my shape 10 this is my shape then what I do is I go to lower brush and I just do this all around sorry not not set to we go to lower two no we don't go to lower two we go to lower brush and what I do is I go around as soon as you can see it's actually going in there it's getting deeper so what I do is I normally just go around my map doesn't matter how deep because obviously it's just the sea you don't really notice and you can make it bigger and you can make it small and the longer you hold it there the deeper it actually gets it gets even deeper and deeper and deeper but I normally just go around all the map like this just basically making it what because you don't want this because this is like somewhat land and somewhat water it's like in between obviously you can't swim in it but it'll be like a walking one so avalanche is if you just hold over it it will do like loads of bubbles if you want to call it bubbles can you see how underneath it's doing that and you just can go around and do that now it'll be good for the sea if you just want to change it up cliffs there you go it's just this if you were told it it goes down so obviously if you've got high terrain and you just click that then it'll go down and once you've done that let's say this is our scuffed map and we want this you just want to cl click close now obviously you guys want to mess around with this how much you want that's fair enough so the lower you are so say the lower the area is it's gonna be blue and it's gonna be a darker color as you can see this is all white because it's sort of got a bit of water on it but it's not got a lot the bit that goes deeper goes white and the bit sorry not white the bit that is deeper goes black black and then it goes really black and the higher bits actually go like this and you'll see circles around the higher bits and the higher bits and then it'll go like thicker all sorts so what you want to do now is you want to obviously save it so let's say you go to your p drive you click a new folder hello mate oh we don't want that we're going to go for a new folder not there we're going to go for a new folder type that enter and what i recommend doing is making another l3dt folder because it does make a load of files so then you go in there and you just save so um save it whatever you want so map enter right so now what you want to do for your height field is you want to click ctrl e now it'll take a while to load up once it's saved so you ctrl e right so if you've been watching my tutorials you will know that i've always used the file format dot asc which you can use and i always will use but maybe say you're having a problem with the dot ASC. You can also use .xyz and that is also um, a file format for height maps. I don't know what the difference is between them, but yeah. But let's say you have opened, let's say you've got Lakeside for example and you're, you're exporting it, but you want Lakeside to be a bigger map. What you can do is you can turn off lock aspect ratio and then now you can change the numbers. So you want to click <laughs> you want to click resize that's it and you want to click um, 24 by 48 it's not 24 it's 20 by 48 yeah that's it and you can copy that click that um, we want to make it an ASC you want to call it height field that's not how you spell that field it's got a K in it but who cares it doesn't matter and you just save it in there click OK and now you have the map so let's say you want to generate the satellite image you want to generate a mask which I don't think people should use I think you should just use a blank canvas and then edit your own in Photoshop but what you want to do is you want to go right click on this bar operations 
and as you can see you've got attributes map terrain normals which is that purple one which you can have in your map you don't need it but you can have it but the attributes map is the satellite so if we do this you can use this as a satellite you can also use the other map it doesn't really matter I suppose personally I wouldn't really use this but some people do like using this and you've also got your texture map okay no we don't and then this is doing this so yeah that's all what I really need to show you today this is basically a simple L3DT tutorial on how to get your map into Daisy or armor now it's not very you know well developed you could say in I've showed you everything that you can do I showed you most things that I know um, this is how I would do my map and I suppose you guys can make whatever you want now so thanks for watching remember to leave a like leave a subscription like I said earlier if you need any help leave a comment and I'll see you guys next time adios amigos